Hello, I'm here with Tammy. Do you remember Tammy? She's the one that took me to that fun, fun Christmas tree farm a few years ago. We made our own wreaths. Mm -hmm. Well, now we're out for a little adventure. We're catching up and we're in a town called Waconia, which is way, way west. If you look on a map, we're way, way west of Minneapolis, but we're gonna go into this little vintage shop called Ruthie's House Vintage Clothing and Home Decor. So I'll show you what it's like. See you in a bit, Ski. Oh, adorable. Not How's your Christmas shopping coming? I'm done. You're done? I've got two things to pick up tomorrow. Oh my goodness, you're so lucky. Well, I have to because I'm going to have to travel. Oh, right. Oh, this one's cute. I love this. I feel like I made some of these at some point in my life. Right? She's I cute. I'm going to have to bring her home. I'm trying not to buy too many ornaments since you're almost oh, are cute. I made those when I was a kid. That's cute. Adorable. That's pretty. I, I made one of these in Girl Scouts. Mm -hmm. oh, what's that? That's different. There's like a bead frame around a ball. That's cool. Nice. Sweet. This is so cute, it's all pins and beads. Oh, and it lights up. That's cool. Oh, cute. This is cute. Oh, adorable. So cute. pastry book. Never seen this one before. Dinner in a dish. These are so cute. Dinner for two. I think I have a soft cover version of that. Mary Hart favorite recipes. That is adorable. These people are just buying up like hotcakes. This Wanted a brass pear. I did not have one to offer her. Yeah, the brass is like popular right now. You know what I need to find somewhere too? That's your in my bed, my clothes. Um, Gabe requested in his stocking um, wooden napkin ring because he likes to play with them. Apparently, he's always played with mine at Thanksgiving. <laughs> and he's like, Mom, I just want a set to play with. They don't even have to be a full set. I was like, okay. Yeah. I have one that says Christmas card list. What do you like? I think I had that as a kid, but mine was a little bit bigger. What is it? It's a nightlight. Oh, cute.
it's dark and cute. Oh, what is this? Is that a purse? Hmm. I can't tell. It is a little purse. So cute. Oh my goodness, it's adorable. Now we're going to a coffee shop that's apparently in a bank. Okay, all right. So it's like a bank, but then they've converted part of it to a coffee shop. I think that's a genius use of space. Cause like banks don't need a lot of space anymore. This is so smart. Here's the menu. I have no idea what I want. Maybe. Hmm. Maybe a lucky monkey. White chocolate and mint. Hmm. Okay, look, they put a little Christmas sticker. So cute over the hole to like keep it warm. It's adorable. And then my cake is on a nice little pottery plate. Lovely spot. <laughs> I love it. We're on our way out, but look at this gorgeous tree. It's so tall. I don't know if you can appreciate that. It's really tall. Beautiful. Beautiful. We like the coffee shop in the bank. Ooh, that's a, an advertisement for a local business. There you go. Mocha Monkey. Highly recommend. Okay, last stop of the afternoon. The general store of Minnetonka. We're on Highway 7, so now we're headed back east from being out west. Look at this. So cute. I love this. It's adorable. Bring your kids here, take a picture. So cute. So this is like, it's a fancy store, but there's lots of cool stuff in here. We're looking it's for candy. Fun. We're looking for old fashioned candies. All right, off we go. Bad on a mug, 10 bucks. Cold bottom mug, gave it like that. Minnesota Jenga, that's funny. Okay, there's no ribbon candy in the store we just asked, but there's old fashioned candy. So we're gonna look for that once we get to there, the registers. But for now, we'll just look at all the fun stuff that's here. Here. Oh, I dropped one. Hold on. He jumped out. I haven't gotten one for my collection for this year. I should show you guys my collection. I put it on Instagram. But I'll have to put a, maybe I'll put a little clip in here if I remember. Okay, this is my gnome collection that I mentioned. I just wanted to insert a little footage here. Now the piece of furniture we're on, if you remember, this is a desk, an old secretary desk, and it had like a cover that would fold out and that becomes the desk, the workstation. And then this would have been for like staplers and stampers and mail and whatever else back in the day. But now I took the cover off so I could actually use it as a display space. And that's where I decided to put my gnome. So I have one, almost one for every year that we've lived in Minnesota. I've missed a year or two here or there, but for the most part, we have one for every year of Minnesota living. We've lived here since 2007. This one is actually not one I bought for this collection, but he's cute and I keep him out all year round, but I thought, ah, I'm gonna keep him with the gnomes for Christmas time. And we, when we first started getting them, called them tomtas because that's the Scandinavian word. So that was our first tomta. And the idea in Scandinavian culture is that you hide your tomta for the kids and then they find it and get a prize. So we used to hide that one every year for the kiddos. So here they are. This is a cute little set. It's a candle holder, but I just put a tree there. Sherman is whining about something. And then, yeah. 
And I think I didn't put it in the footage. I didn't get one yet, but um, we're going to go probably to this place called the Swedish Museum and look for one there. And if we don't find one there, I did see one at the general store in Minnetonka that I, that I liked. So I'm keeping that kind of in my mind. He was in like velvety pajamas. It was really cute. Oh, Sherman has to go out. Okay, I'm going to let Sherman out. And yeah, so there's my Tomta collection, my gnome collection. Now back to the vlog. <laughs> this is so funny. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the real Lakers, Minnesota. Oh my goodness, these are fabulous. I say this all the time. <laughs> uh, oh, it wouldn't be so bad without the wind. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness, it has cardinals and mushrooms. These are like my favorite things. So, oh, so, so cool. It's only $10. I don't think that's terrible for an ornament. This is hysterical. I'm really enjoying myself right now. <laughs> Squirrel. Squirrel. <laughs> oh my. These are a hoot. Oh my goodness. That is so cute. I can see a price on this one. Oh, 10. Cute, cute, cute. I love this. Never seen anything like this before. So cool. There's kind of a running joke about our sports teams here. They they lose a lot. These are pretty garlands. Right there. That's not a bad price. 27. It's a lot of glass baubles on it. Six feet. You can put it across a fireplace. I like these felted trees, those are cute. These are so adorable. I've never seen them before, Tammy has. She is a woman of the world. <laughs> My daughter has them. <laughs> but look, you get like a tray or a paper towel holder, see? And then you can change out the ornament, the thing, for all the different occasions you might run into. How adorable is that? And then you're not storing like a Christmas dish, you're just storing one dish and then lots of little doodads. I'm sure that's what they call them, doodads. More pears and apples. <laughs> Definitely a thing right now in decor. Besides the obvious connection with Christmas, but this is very pretty. I don't touch things like that because I'm afraid I'll break them, but it is pretty. like my mom-in-law bought me. Well, not the same one, but a whole display. Love them. This is gorgeous. Well, just gorgeous. Mm, these are really sparkly. I love the elf cups. I've not seen those before. More baubles. Pretty, pretty. This is what I purchased from the general store. I got the ornament for 10. 
Isn't it so pretty? Not that it's realistic at all. Cardinal is way too big to go on a mushroom, but that's okay. <laughs> I love it. And then I'll show you the other things that I bought at the vintage shop. Here's our tree though. Hopefully at some point I will get a house tour up, but still working it out. I haven't fell in one. That's the reality. That's what that means. <laughs> okay, if you hear crunching, my dogs are eating a little snack. But I wanted to show you, I did pick up the picture. I have never seen this piece before. It is depression glass. It's uranium glass. If you're not familiar with what that means, look. Whoa, it glows. And it was 19 or 17? 19, which is for us a piece this size that's in really good shape. That's a really good price. The only thing it has are little like you know, um, not really chips, but just from being used over the years, you know, these little corners are a little worn down, but I thought it was just beautiful. You could see the bubbles in the glass. That was common in older glass. I love this thing. I have not found a piece of uranium glass for my collection in a very long time. And yeah, so I'm super happy with that. And I'm going to use it in my Christmas decor. I'll show you how. And this is where I'm using the little pitcher. I need a few more red Christmas balls. I know I have more. I just need to locate them. But isn't that so cute? Oh, man, I love it. Just a little something. I don't like to do too much on this coffee table. I'm in the family room. And sorry, the pillows. I didn't fix them for you. You know, this is real life. Um, <laughs> Sherman's chewing his bone. But I don't like to do too much because we really use this coffee table. And the dogs run around. And yeah, they're a little crazy. So... But I feel like these things are all safe and it gets to highlight my picture. And these are the two, the other two items I got. These were $3 a piece. I got these both for my vintage tree, which if you're not familiar, I have a tree that has all vintage ornaments from my childhood, from my hubby's childhood, and then some I just picked up along the way. But I thought this isn't a vintage ornament. This is a modern ornament. Um, with, but I like the fact that it's handmade and so that's why I got it and I think it's appropriate for our vintage tree because that's the other pieces like they're like handmade vintage ornaments and I just thought this was really cute. I've never seen one done this way. And then I also got the little angel and it looks like that's her arm. Okay. Yeah. And these are made out of beads and clothes pins. I think this was popular in the 90s, but I could be wrong. Um, but yeah, so she's going to go on the vintage tree too. And Molly absolutely adores this. Molly's one of my children. She's 23. She had a birthday. There's a vlog about it. And so I told her when she gets her own tree, an apartment and her own tree, I will pass this to her because she just loved it. Or alternatively, we could keep this one as a model and figure out how to make them and then we can make them together. So that would also be fun. Anyway, so that was my little haul from the vintage shop and from the, the general store and yeah hope you enjoyed seeing what i got and i'll see you in the next one sorry my vlogmas is uh, a little sporadic last night i'm filming this on sunday you're gonna see this on sunday we had some unexpected snow and maddie had a situation and i kind of had to come to her rescue in it so <laughs> so i didn't get to film this yesterday but you know had to take care of the family first i know you guys all agree so Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next Vlogmas. Bye.